So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Zina, a full-time dentist. Today we were talking about the three suggested theories behind the cause of lower incisor crowding. But before we continue, make sure to press the subscribe button down below because it would really help me to do more and more videos. The first suggested theory is pressure from the third molar. They may cause mesial pressure in lower dentition during the eruption period, causing crowding. But case studies showed that crowding can take place even after eruption is completed. So this is referred to as late lower incisor crowding. So crowding can happen even if the third molar is absent. So this theory is false. The second theory is lack of normal attrition of the teeth. It has been observed that late crowding can take place even if you extract the premolars and the reduction of the arch length happen due to this normal attrition. So this is also a false theory. The last acceptable theory is late mandibular growth. Mandible tends to grow more in late teens than maxilla. Therefore, when the forward growth of the mandible happens, the mandibular incisors will be displaced lingually. How? Via the action of your lips. The, your lips will be pushing the incisors more lingually, causing the crowding of the lower incisors. On average, the mandibular growth complete at 19 years, but it may continue longer. So therefore, this will cause crowding in the lower incisors via the action of your lips pressing or pushing them more lingually lingually thank you all for watching my video if you enjoyed don't forget to hit the like button comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe for more videos goodbye